I was a biologist. In my early 20s, I started working at Caltech with owls. Wesley was found by some hikers on the ground. He had nerve damage in his wing, so they needed somebody to be able to take care of him for the rest of his life. So when they asked me if I wanted to do this, it took about two seconds for me to say, yes, absolutely. I want to spend the next 20 years doing this, absolutely. I would sleep in longer than he wanted me to sleep in the morning, and I'd wake up and I'd see him watching me really intently. And so sometimes he would fly down, he'd get really impatient, he'd fly down and I'd pretend to still be asleep, and he would take his beak and just take a hold of my eyelash and open my eye. That big meat shredding beak, he was so gentle with it. That was amazing. Wesley blew away a lot of my misconceptions. He learned to understand my language. Not every word, but a lot, lot of sentences. I was told they were unemotional. In fact, they're so emotional that when their mate dies, sometimes the other one will will himself to die. Or if one is injured, the other one will take care of him for years. So they are so dedicated to each other, even more than humans are. Wesley was that way with me. He literally saw me as his mate after a while. And he treated me as, as, as if I was. He tried to take care of me. He fed me mice, you know. I had to pretend to eat a mouse every day or he'd get upset. Wesley was unbelievably cuddly and it blows away the whole myth that owls don't like to be touched. So he would come up into my arms and he'd cuddle in, he had this little cuddle face he made, and I would rub his feathers and snuggle for hours, and we would fall asleep like that, the two of us. So as Wesley got older, I got really sick, really sick. It turned out I had a brain tumor, and I went to a very dark place with that. But I realized I couldn't abandon Wesley. He was so emotional and so deeply attached to me. He got me through that hard time, and through that, I really learned with my heart that it's enough just to have the ability to love. The things we use to define ourselves are false. The only thing that really matters is we are capable of giving love, and that's enough. That's why we're on this planet.